Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to use the tool Star Stop Continue. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, this is a tool of empathy and understanding. It got the following characteristics. Star Stop Continue is a feedback technique. It consists of a structure that allows us to discover things, to keep eliminated or create and that's why it's called a star stop continue can be used to evaluate a project a team or even the performance of people in their day by day its use is very simple it consists of a template with three columns one of the star at the beginning another of a stop and the final of continue uh, the idea here is that you develop this tool in a group and you have different concepts and opinion of something specific. So we will use a sticky notes to write on each of them if you make it um, analog and if you make it digital you can make it in a board. Basically a star is what things should we start doing to improve a specific project, a stop what things should we stop in favor of a project, continue what things are we currently doing that are benefiting to the project and why we should keep it. So this technique is really simple, but it really helps in the development and the structure of something that is very specific. Before I start uh, explaining this tool, if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel, give us a like, turn on the bell, share our content, because it really helps us to keep working in this project. So basically the three main points are the start, things that should be a start developing, a stop, things that obviously they are not working, so we should stop it right now, and continue things that are going well and deserve to keep going. So like I was telling you, you can evaluate different kind of things, process, people, finances, technology, entertaining, anything that are related to a project, to a development of a product, of a service, or anything like that. So in this column, you will have the start, stop, and continue. And the idea here is that you can do it by yourself, but you, I, I honestly suggest that you do it by group. And with that, you start analyzing which things are going really, really well. So here I'm gonna give you uh, an example of things that we should start. We should start a um, process that are autonomous. We should uh, stop process that are too manual and we should continue to develop the risk based on documents. That is extremely important because the idea here is in this example is that you uh, start making everything digital and day by day you use less things that are just with your hands. About people, uh, here we should uh, start working, 80% of our employees should be uh, start working online. Uh, stop work from the office all day, so a uh, timetable that is flexible. Evaluate of performance every quarter, which is also very important, so it means that every uh, three months it will be evaluated. The finances, of course, process automatic of a loan, manual process of a loan, publication of management account. So it's something that is really important because the idea here is that you can make this process automatic so the process is stopped to be manual and of course the publication of management accounts because it's very important for all the investment. In technology, do everyday back backups of files that is extremely important because you never know when you're gonna lose your information. Backup once a month. So this is something that they should be still doing um, because they want to make everyday backups. And nowadays it's extremely easy because if you are working on the cloud, um, that, that process is almost automatic. Update the system every uh, every year, that is extremely important. Entertainment, virtual meetings, social, once a month, meeting face-to-face, -face, and give uh, newspapers. So that is something 
to improve the environment in a specific situation. So once a month, a virtual meeting, they should start doing that and try to stop face to face. I'm, I'm not so agree with this because I believe that people really need contact with each other and we are like a community. So it's very important to do that and uh, reward those behaviors that are positive are always very good. In conclusion, at the end of this analysis, you must be able to make decisions regarding the project or analyzing a company or a specific situation. The more information and better they can be answered the question, you will have better foundation and they will make more decisions informed. That is one of the main things. Don't make anything bad intuition. Try to have data, try to have information that really allow to project and do the things that you do that will be very helpful as well. Thank you so much. I hope this video was a big help in your education. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media. Remember that every Monday we have a new video in Spanish and every Thursday we have a new video in English. Our Udemy courses are already available. In the description of this video, you can find the link. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.